Are you ready for an extraordinary adventure? Perhaps even a life-changing experience? Then come to a place where you can push the envelope and at the same time explore history, perfectly preserved. A place where a desert as vast as a sea suddenly opens to reveal astonishing secrets. This is a mystical land, an unexpected oasis that throughout the ages has witnessed the triumphs and the milestones of the world's great religions. All who come here are moved by its beauty, its people, and its soul. This ancient kingdom exists on the threshold of a dream and at the edge of history. This is Jordan. Jordan, it's an ancient land with a very modern attitude. Now, the last time I was here, I had a very special tour guide to show me around this incredible country, His Majesty King Abdullah II. And we did it in some very unusual ways. Since then, I've learned a lot about the diversity of Jordan and its wealth of experiences. And now, it's your turn. I'm Peter Greenberg. Please join me as I take you on a special tour of Jordan, its people, and its treasures. Most people only think they know where Jordan is, but even fewer know what lies within its borders. Perhaps some of you may have heard of Petra or Wadi Rum, the magical desert places of Jordan. But there's a lot more to this Middle Eastern kingdom than most people expect. Start in Amman, the urban and cultural center of Jordan. Nestled in the rolling hills of this city of nearly two million, is where you'll find Jordan's hotspots, trendy restaurants, dance clubs, museums, and of course, shopping. Amman is the commercial center of this rapidly growing country, a geographical hub with a modern infrastructure for tourism, business travel, transportation, and a country that boasts luxury accommodations as well as state-of-the-art convention centers. But take a short drive out of the city and you enter a brave new world of the past. Jordanians can trace their ancestry to the very beginnings of civilization. Ruins of cultures thousands of years old are everywhere. Take a day trip to the desert palaces less than an hour east of Amman. Or view the imposing crusader and Arab fortresses of Karak and Aujloun. But a walk through these magnificent castles is just the beginning of your trip through history. Jordan's greatest sights are still to come. Take a walk back through time in Jerash, one of the best preserved Roman cities in the world. This is the same stone path that witnessed the rise and fall of empires, an area first inhabited more than 6,000 years ago. Stand at the crossroads of the colonnade and close your eyes. You can almost hear the chariots rolling through one of history's great Roman cities. And in summer, the festival of culture and arts brings this once vibrant city back to life. With dancers, musicians, and theater in a celebration of Jordanian and international culture. In the mountains of Wadi Musa lies perhaps Jordan's greatest treasure, a city so shrouded in mystery that its very existence remained a carefully guarded Bedouin secret until the 19th century. The lost city of Petra. Your journey to Petra begins with a mile-long walk through the spectacular natural beauty of the Sikh Canyon. You can walk the Sikh or take a horse-drawn carriage. When I visited with the king, we came down 
the old-fashioned way. Then, the 650-foot-high sandstone walls offer a mesmerizing glimpse, and then dramatically open to reveal Jordan's grandest icon, the treasury of Petra. Carved centuries ago out of solid rock, you may recognize this massive ancient monument from its most famous movie roles, in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, and The Mummy Returns. The treasury stands guard over the entrance to Petra, a city containing over 800 carved tombs, reliefs, and Bedouin caves. As many as 30,000 people once lived here, and it was still home to Bedouin tribes into the 1980s. Today, Petra is honored as one of the few protected UNESCO World Heritage Sites. But who built this incredible city and the imposing tombs surrounding it? Even now there are questions. But the mystery of Petra takes on a new aura at night. Walk the Sikh Canyon by the light of a thousand hand-placed candles and feel the mystique of the treasury under the stars. It's an unforgettable location and an unforgettable experience. Of course, Jordan isn't just about sightseeing. It's also about adventure. Sail a schooner in the Gulf of Aqaba. Then jet ski the coast. Or for a more panoramic view, take a leap and go parasailing. And if water sports is your thing, then go deeper. You can scuba or snorkel what world-class divers know is one of the great, but mostly unknown, dive sites in the world. And of course, no trip to Jordan would be complete without a visit to the lowest spot on the planet for a swim in the Dead Sea, where the naturally buoyant salt water lets you float effortlessly. The Dead Sea is also home to some of Jordan's luxury resorts and spas, where you can sun, swim, and soak up the therapeutic effects of the Dead Sea's minerals and air. Not to mention a skin treatment with a little of the Dead Sea's legendary mud. Jordan is a land of unparalleled and unexpected contrasts. Sweeping deserts give way to lush forests and green oases filled with exotic animals. Hike the Grand Canyons of the Dana Nature Reserve where dramatic cliffs rise nearly a mile and then drop below sea level. In this spectacular setting you can find flora and fauna from the continents of Africa, Asia and Europe. Or watch the sunrise from your tent at a campsite that's different from any other on a plateau overlooking a 1500 foot drop. If you have a sense of adventure, there's hiking, climbing and rappelling in the stunning gorges of the Wadi Mujib. You can be a beginner or an outright thrill seeker. And there's no desert in the world like the Wadi Rum. Explore the landscape made famous by T.E. Lawrence and the location for the films Lawrence of Arabia as well as Mission to Mars. A desert of ruby sands and cliffs where the Bedouins still roam. Camp out in a Bedouin enclave and live the ancient nomadic desert culture firsthand, surrounded by 3,000 year old inscriptions and panoramic desert sunsets that are unlike anything you've ever seen. In its truest essence, Jordan is a spiritual and biblical land, the setting for many of the great tales of both the Old and the New Testaments. The heights of Mount Nebo, 
where Moses first saw the Holy Land, the shores of Bethany beyond the Jordan where Jesus was baptized, the mountaintop tomb of Aaron, and the King's Highway, the road used by Moses to cross the desert and which is still in use today. And as the sun sets, prayer calls from Jordan's great mosques echo from one end of the city to the other. A spiritual experience for those of any belief. You've just seen the appetizer. The main meal is yet to come. We've only really scratched the surface of all the surprises and discoveries that await you here in Jordan. To gaze out at the Wadi Rum, to walk Petra, even to have dinner with the locals, that's what you need to do when you get here. And once you do that, then you'll know what I know, the magical, mystical tour that is Jordan.